good evening doctors our today's topic is hypoglycemia i am going to write hypoglycemia so my dear friend what does it mean hypo means low hypo means low if you take hypo and glycemia means glucose glucose glyce and emia means emia i m i a means blood so this spelling by their own telling us hypo means low glyce means glucose and emia means blood low blood glucose level so we have to know what is the normal values and when we consider a hypoglycemia so my dear friends in hypoglycemia firstly the definition is low blood glucose level hypoglycemia is not a any topic is not a any diagnose hypoglycemia hypoglycemia is just a condition it just a condition when the sugar serum sugar level goes down in this situation so pathologically so i am going to tell you about some symptoms what happens when our sugar level of body is going down and how to identify so symptoms i am going to write sx like sweat sweats sweating sweating excess sweat during hypoglycemia tachycardia palpitation anxiety these are the symptoms sometimes seizures very very severe hypoglycemia aloc acute loss of consciousness patient fall down loses his consciousness but in severe cases sometime a patient is dull dry skin loss turgor dry skin severely dehydrated these are the symptoms and we see blurred blurred vision blurred vision not able to see properly so symptoms my dear friends and some behavior changes fatigue nausea vomiting it include and nausea we are vomiting fatigue tired not able to do any activity so my dear friends these all are the symptoms tremors 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 come sometime tremors like this palpitation anxiety nausea blurred vision behavior changes but here in case of hypoglycemia what we are not going to find no ketone bodies no ketones in urine no polyuria no polydipsia so my dear friends and no glycosuria in urine absent maybe maybe positive maybe maybe present in rare situation mostly not but symptoms are same so at any card ya palpitation if now i am going to explain you the causes what caused the hypoglycemia like condition what are the causes i hope uh, till here what is hypoglycemia clear uh, symptoms of hypoglycemia it's also clear okay so i am going to explain the causes why this hypoglycemia like condition occurs my dear friends i am going to tell you this week cause like medications medications which medications anti hyperglycemic which one mainly sulfonylurea sulfonylurea causes hypoglycemia example glimipride glyclazide glibinclamide chlorpropamide these are the medication which causes hypoglycemia 
what else insulin insulin if we are giving some kind of more doses it causes hypoglycemia hypoglycemia and what else factitious insulin just factitious insulin what does it mean maybe some patient is psychiatric who suffer from type 1 diabetes mellitus and he inject by their own a huge dose and he comes under hypoglycemia sometimes another cause infections infections also sugar level goes down in case of infections insulinoma insulinoma what does it mean by insulinoma it is a tumor of pancreas tumor of pancreas what does it happen in this a beta cell produce more insulin more insulin in case of insulinoma so what happens and pro insulin i am going to explain you what does it mean by firstly the pro insulin then uh, two products break down insulin another one plus c peptide so all these three increases in case of insulinoma insulinoma all these three increases and uh, what other causes like dumping syndrome after gastrectomy dumping syndrome dumping syndrome can cause hypoglycemia why dumping syndrome can cause because nothing is uh, because food came in the mouth and so fast in the intestine so no time for absorption there that's why it causes hypoglycemia and uh, what are the other causes in case of hypothyroidism also there is hypoglycemia and in case of liver disease ld means liver disease why in liver disease there is hypoglycemia because what was the work of liver liver do gluconeogenesis so if liver is not working properly no gluconeogenesis in case of liver disease and liver is also responsible for glycolysis what happen when glucose break down so body will get glucose but in such situation no glucose in case of ethanol toxicity ethanol toxicity also uh, condition hypoglycemia why ethanol hypo uh, toxicity because ethanol damage the liver functions that's why there is also a breakdown and hypoglycemia occurs and also in case of addison disease my dear friends i am going to explain all these disease uh, in different session but here i am going to explain you why hypoglycemia occur because here decrease cortisol cortisol levels when there is a decrease in cortisol level that's why there decrease in epinephrine and glucagon there is decrease in epinephrine and glucagon so my dear friends uh, till here i hope clear all these causes and these are very much important so many times so many examinations they asking such questions so please try to understand it and try to remember these are very easy and uh, you are able to save the life of a person if you know this situation okay now i am going to explain something my dear friends so that is very much interesting i am going to take i am going to take hypoglycemia how to diagnose how to diagnose so firstly we take here like insulinoma insulinoma here and here exogenous insulin exogenous from outside insulin insulin exogenous and uh, here we take sulfonylurea sulfo nay urea sulfonyl urea what does they do sulfonyl urea endogenous producing insulin endogenous activating the insulin so if we talk about serum insulin level serum insulin level in case of insulinoma i already told insulinoma pro insulin first you remember increases pro insulin increases insulinoma so it break down into insulin plus c peptide 
So, serum insulin increase in insulinoma? Yes. If we give exogenous insulin outside, outside trough, so the serum insulin level increases in our body? Yes, of course, yes. And sulfonylurea, endogenous, uh, increase the insulin level. So here, also serum insulin level increases, my dear friends. But if we are going to talk about C-peptide, C-peptide, in case of insulinoma, C-peptide also increases because pro-insulin increases and is breakdown. But in case of exogenous insulin, pro-insulin level is normal. We are injecting outside insulin, only insulin we are injecting artificial preparation. That's why what is going to happen? Pro uh, here C-peptide, because there is no breakdown of C-peptide. So here the C-peptide, what is going to happen? It's being be normal or sometimes low. Okay, in case of sulfonylurea, is it endogenous insulin level? So what was going to happen? Endogenous insulin level, so C-peptide also increases here. But now we are going to talk about pro-insulin. What was going to happen with pro-insulin? Please come bring camera near. Here. What happens with pro-insulin? Pro-insulin also increases in here, but in case here normal or maybe decrease. And what was going to be happen? Uh, here it's normal and going to be present. And if we see the urine sugar, urine sugar, what was going to happen? Here urine sugar going to be normal because no, no urine sugar, no urine sugar, no. So we can say no. And here also exogenous insulin, so no urine sugar here, no urine sugar. And uh, by uh, here sulfonylurea, urine sugar may be present. I hope till here you it's clear for you. So now I am going to teach you uh, what are the levels and how to treat these hypoglycemic conditions and you know I, in my practice I already seen such cases. So what is going to treat? What when the sugar level fasting we are going to consider 170 till 120 is normal. But uh, 70 till 120 is normal blood sugar fasting. But in case of less than 70 sugar Patient may be asymptomatic, but in some cases he must be symptomatic, which I already told. So it's mild hypoglycemia. If less than 50, it's moderate hypoglycemia. If less than 35, it's severe hypoglycemia. So in case of mild hypoglycemia, we can give uh, like chocolates, like two ASF sugar or chocolate uh, like toffee toffee some candy cadbury okay candies candies not cadbury in moderate we can give sometimes iv dextrose 25 percent or 50 percent but in case of severe we need to give always always 50 percent iv dextrose and that will end fluid balance also if patient is dehydrated so we are going to uh, hydrate the fluid balance in such a case uh, i hope my dear friend this is understand for you now it's a time for questions and i am going to ask some questions okay a patient present with symptoms of hypoglycemia Patient present with symptom of hypoglycemia. Investigation reveals decreased blood glucose. Yes, blood glucose decreases and increase in insulin level. Insulin levels are increases, but blood glucose level decreases. Insulin increases, blood glucose decreases. Okay, insulin C peptide assay is done, which shows the normal level. But C peptide is normal. Uh, the most likely diagnosis is my. Okay, options are first one is insulinoma. B is accidental sulfonylurea injection, C is accidental exogenous insulin administration and D is accidental metformin injection. So my question goes to Dr. Emily, please answer. D. Now this time he is wrong because answer here is C. This time you have to wake up in my class, accidental exogenous insulin administration. Okay, another question. Uh, down phenomena refers to option A is early morning hyperglycemia, option B is early morning hypoglycemia, option C is hypoglycemia followed by hyperglycemia, option D is high insulin levels. So what is down phenomena? My question goes to Dr. Lal Singh please answer. Yeah, this time he is absolutely right early morning hyperglycemia. 
yes in this one you're right factitious hyperinsulinemia is differentiated from insulinoma by option a c peptide no option a is insulin bodies option d is pro insulin option c is c, uh, serum glucose level option d is c peptide my question goes to dr emily please answer c wrong this time c peptide yeah c peptide is answer option is d okay down phenomena refers to okay again repeated the ask uh, next question anti abuse like effect caused by oral hypoglycemic drug okay options are acabos and option b is metformin option d is glicazide option c is glicazide option d is chlorpropamide my question goes to dr emily again answers please answer which option is it which one c wrong this time d is the option what happened with you you have to prepare this time you are not ready okay answer is chlorpropamide so my dear friends uh, that's all our today's session is completed i hope uh you got a lot of knowledge with my lecture and in my next coming videos i am going to explain type 1 diabetes type 2 diabetes mellitus and their complications like dk like hhs and microvascular macrovascular complications in my further videos if you haven't watched my lecture like in so about insulin so you see that lecture also and uh my target to explain you all subject all 23 subjects together uh, so my dear friends that's all for today have a good night good day well done thank you